you are standing in the middle of a vast and ancient rainforest. You are miles away from the nearest doctor, and you do not have a single pill or bandage to your name. Suddenly you feel a sharp sting on your neck or you trip and scrape your leg on a jagged rock. In this humid heat, you know that infection could set in within hours. What would you do? Most of us would panic. But if you look up into the trees, you will see a creature that knows exactly how to handle a medical emergency. It does not have a degree, but it has millions of years of survival knowledge passed down through generations. We often think of medicine as a human invention, but the truth is the jungle was the very first pharmacy, and monkeys were the very first pharmacists. If you are fascinated by the secret lives and the hidden intelligence of primates, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel Monkeylo. We are building a community of animal lovers, and we want you to be a part of our troop. Also, please remember to like and share this video so we can keep bringing you these amazing stories. Now let us find out how a monkey treats a wound without a doctor. To understand this behavior, we have to look at a concept called zoopharmacognosy. This is just a fancy way of saying that animals know how to use plants and insects as medicine. For a monkey life in the wild is a constant battle against tiny enemies. There are ticks that suck blood and spread disease, and there are botflies that try to lay eggs under their skin. If a monkey just ignored these parasites, it would eventually get too sick to survive so they have developed some truly incredible ways to fight back using the resources around them. One of the most famous examples comes from the capuchin monkeys of South America. During the rainy season, the mosquito population explodes, and the biting flies become relentless. To deal with this, the capuchins go hunting for a specific type of giant millipede. These millipedes are not for eating. When a millipede feels threatened, it releases a toxic liquid that contains chemicals called benzoquinones. To most animals, this stuff is a dangerous poison that burns the mouth. But the capuchin monkey knows a secret. It picks up the millipede and starts to poke it to make it angry. Once the insect starts oozing that toxic slime, the monkey rubs it all over its fur and skin. It uses the millipede like a bar of soap. Those chemicals are incredibly powerful insect repellents. They drive away mosquitoes and flies instantly. But the story gets even more strange. These chemicals are also mild narcotics. As the monkeys rub themselves, they often enter a trance-like state with glazed eyes and drooling mouths. They essentially get a little bit high while they are protecting themselves from bugs. This often turns into a big social event where the whole troop shares the millipede and grooms each other. But what happens when there are no millipedes around? The jungle is full of other options. Spider monkeys have been seen finding wild citrus fruits like limes. They are not interested in the juice inside. Instead, they tear open the peel and rub the aromatic oils into their fur. These oils act as a natural antiseptic and a bug repellent. If they have a small bite or a scratch, the acid cleans the wound and prevents it from getting infected. This is a learned behavior. Young monkeys watch their parents and copy them. If a monkey is raised alone, it might never learn these medical tricks. This shows that monkeys have a culture of medicine that they pass down to their children. But the threats are not just on the outside of the body. The most dangerous enemies are the worms and parasites that live inside the stomach. These invaders steal food and cause terrible pain. To fix a stomach ache, a monkey will do something that looks very strange to us they will eat dirt. Specifically, they look for clay from termite mounds or river banks. This is called geophagy. Scientists used to think they were just hungry, but when they analyzed the clay, they found it was rich in a mineral called kaolin. This is the exact same ingredient used in human medicines for diarrhea and stomach pain. The clay acts like a sponge. It binds to toxins and coats the stomach lining to stop irritation. By eating this clay, the monkeys are taking a natural antacid to detox their bodies. Sometimes clay is not enough, and they need a more physical way to clean their insides. This brings us to a trick where they swallow whole leaves. Usually a monkey chews its food very well. But when they have too many worms in their gut, they find plants with very rough and hairy leaves. They carefully fold the leaf and swallow it without chewing. The rough leaf travels through their intestines like a piece of Velcro. The tiny hooks on the leaf snag the worms and pull them out of the body. 
it is a mechanical flush that sweeps their system clean. This shows that monkeys can plan ahead. They know that swallowing a rough leaf now will make them feel better much later. What about serious injuries? In the wild monkeys often fight for dominance, and they have very sharp teeth. Deep cuts are a major risk in the humid jungle where bacteria grow fast. For a long time we thought they only licked their wounds, but recent studies show they actually make bandages. Some primates have been seen chewing up specific medicinal plants into a green mushy paste. They then take this paste and apply it directly into an open wound. They pack the cut with the plant matter and leave it there for hours. These plants often have properties that stop bleeding and kill bacteria. The monkey is effectively creating a biological bandage and applying antibiotic ointment, just like a human would. Another fascinating medicine is charcoal. In some parts of the world, monkeys have a diet that includes leaves that are actually quite toxic. If they ate too many, they would die. To solve this, they have learned to steal charcoal from human fire pits. Charcoal is very porous, and it traps the poisons in the leaves before the body can absorb them. This allows the monkeys to eat plants that other animals have to avoid. Mothers even teach their babies which pieces of charcoal are the best to eat. It is a vital part of their survival kit. Monkeys also use a behavior called anting. They will find a nest of stinging ants and sit right on top of it. They let the ants crawl through their fur and bite them. The ants release formic acid, which is a natural pesticide. The monkeys use the ants to kill off lice and mites that they cannot reach with their fingers. It is a painful treatment, but it is very effective at keeping their skin healthy. They are willing to endure the stings to get rid of the parasites. The intelligence required to do all of this is amazing. It suggests that monkeys are constantly studying the world around them. They test different plants and remember which ones work. They observe which dirt makes them feel better and which bugs keep the flies away. They are not just living in nature, they are using it like a toolkit. Many of the plants they use are the same ones that humans have used for thousands of years in traditional medicine. In some cases, humans actually learned about these medicines by watching the monkeys first. This deep connection to nature is what keeps them alive in such a harsh environment. Every time a monkey rubs a leaf on its skin or eats a piece of clay, it is using a library of knowledge that is millions of years old. They are the original doctors of the forest. Understanding their natural medicines helps us to protect them and their habitat. Because if the forest disappears, so does their pharmacy. The more we learn about their medical secrets, the more we realize how similar they are to us in their struggle to stay healthy and safe. The next time you see a monkey in the wild or on a screen, remember that you are looking at a master of survival. They are not just playing in the trees, they are navigating a complex world of chemistry and biology every single day. Their ability to find cures in the wild is a testament to their incredible brains and their deep bond with the earth. The jungle is a tough place, but monkeys have found the keys to staying healthy right there in the leaves and the dirt. If you enjoy videos like this one, please take a second to like and share and subscribe. It helps us continue growing and bringing more videos to you. Also, comment down below which monkey topic would you like to see from us next. We love hearing your ideas and exploring the primate world together. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.